Okay, so just before the actual game starts, I just want to mention here at the very beginning, I was filming this episode around 5.30 something in the morning, because that is the time the episode actually released in the UK, and it was the only time during the day I was going to actually get to film the entire two hours of the entire episode, but unfortunately I wasn't able to do it any other time and be this vocal, so I just wanted to mention it here because I may sound a bit monotone throughout some parts of the video, but I don't think it came out too bad at all. The episode was fantastic, I had an absolute blast playing it, and and it really, really, really surprised me and surpassed my expectations, especially for the situation that Telltale were in and Skybound managed to save it. This was fantastic, and I hope you're all going to enjoy it. Yeah, let's start The Walking Dead, the final season, episode three, Broken Toys. Let's go. Let me just sort of set the mood here a little bit. It's Tuesday the 15th of January 2019 the time is 5 22 a.m. currently and today is a great day because The Walking Dead the final season episode 3 is real I didn't think it would ever happen my tears were clearly for nothing but the game's real Skybound you beautiful bastards <laughs> it's actually real and if you saw me play the last episode you know how much of a wreck i was at the end of it but it's real i'm actually in fucking shock honestly i i can't believe it i didn't think this would actually happen it basically seemed impossible but it's here and uh first thing i gotta play it and, uh, I'm just lost for words. I don't know. I don't know how long this is going to be. I don't even know how the quality is going to be. I just think the fact that they made the effort to even finish it and get all those original writers and everyone, that's just, that just has me at lost for words. I'm going to, we're just going to see how this goes, but, um... Let's let's see how this is. I don't I don't know how long it's going to be or anything. Previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Lewis tune his piano. He opened up to me, and I admitted I had feelings for him. He had the same ones. Gonna die. <laughs> then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Lewis. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. I don't know why she got the time to do a recap like. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> First time, let's see how this actually is. 
I can, I, I'm still in disbelief I'm actually seeing this. Because <laughs> they would have had to have made this themselves. Like from the ground up. I'm pretty sure he was the guy that was a dick to us. I don't even remember what she's called. I remember the greenhouse incident, but that's about it. At the start, I was so little, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Oh, shit. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. The eye? I don't think it was there. Um. Shit. Look, I promise you, Willie, the people who did this, we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. It's maybe not the best. <laughs> if Mitch were here, oh. he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. And bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Abel's tied up in the basement. He passed out from the pain. Thanks. AJ wanted to stay down there and keep an eye on him. Hey, buddy. It's time for us to bury Mitch and say our goodbyes. I'll help you. Get care. away from him! Oh, oh shit! The reason he's dead. Oh really? yeah, he did. Well, it's true. We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up. Hey, cut that shit out! Someone's got to say it. It's what everyone's thinking. I completely forgot. Dad. Yeah, he did. Um, let me handle this. Ugh. Talk to Abel. See if you can't find out where Lily took Vi, Omar, and Asim. I wanted to hurt him, you know, to make him talk, but I just couldn't. But I can. <laughs> you get more out of him than I did. Oh yeah. Oh. You're gonna die, aren't you? Skybound are gonna do us dirty. <laughs> They're gonna do us so dirty. They brought us back just to make us cry again. <laughs> oh, I figured we get to explore or something there. What was the dog's name? Rosie. Interrogate Abel Abel. She literally said it. It's real. It's actually real, and it looks so fucking good. You wouldn't even be able to tell if that the <laughs> Oh, I'm such a pussy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just I'm just in such disbelief it's real. I'm a such a pussy. If I'm gonna start like tearing up at this, imagine how it's gonna be when we actually finish the game. <laughs> or the episode. This should be strong enough to hold him. Well he's already he's not even tied up yet. Okay. Uh, oh. Is that an Etch-a-Sketch? That's an Etch-a-Sketch, apparently. <laughs> sketch toy, okay. Uh, I don't even remember what her name was. But that... Marlin? Bashed her brains in? <laughs> Brody. Brody, that was it. Such a good episode as well. Like, these last two episodes have been, like, th almost three hours. I don't know if we're going to be at that limit for this one. We'll just have to see. Um. If it is, I'm going to be very surprised. Aww. I got the name right, though. I got the name right, so that there's that. Oh, God, AJ, what are you doing? Can we go... No, we cannot. All right, here we go. Got your gun back, huh? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I feel like he's just gonna kill someone else, or him. Ready? No. <laughs> Oh, 
drench him. I want to let's see what AJ will do. Wake him up. He's gonna. Hit. What's he gonna do? Wake up, stupid shitting <laughs> fucker. <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Don't make me laugh at this time in the morning. It ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. It's not even six. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. Oh. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're not going to do much with that hand. Water? One hand. Drink. Got good manner, squirt. Yeah. <laughs> You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. You think Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rest He's on a <laughs> Only a bunch of pissed-off kids who want you dead. He's on a so tell us where our friends are. School chair, whatever. For mercy. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Lily will never give him up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Only I get the real chair. Jonathan and me, three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath, one community against another. From Richmond to the coast, back at the Delta, we're at war with some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say, point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. No, that's, that's kidnapping. Called kidnapping. <laughs> Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. I don't believe him. Oh, he's got a hole in his foot. I don't yeah. even remember if we did that. <laughs> Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. Oh. That thing isn't gonna light itself. It's a Bible passage, okay. I don't know where your friends are. Smoke will clear my mind. Oh, uh, okay. I was thinking that's what it was. Help me remember stuff. Burn like him. where Lily went. What's this? Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. Everyone's gonna burn him, though. But I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> be like all nice to him. Let's see what this is. Everyone's gonna burn him. Everyone is. Oops. You little bitch! Come on, everyone's gonna burn him. You just know it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's a bit too... That's a lot of blood. Yeah. <laughs> This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? Mm-hmm. I'm not patching him up. 
Isn't that what you wanted? I did, but... <laughs> You're gonna get your wish. When you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. Ah, <laughs> oh, I am still human. My, my whole life. I can't let that happen. Everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise. You won't let me turn. Oh, there's gonna be some cold fuckers out there that aren't gonna let them, are they? <laughs> I'm begging you. Let him sweat. You know, fuck. I'll, I'll kill him. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay. We have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. He gave that up easy, didn't he? You, you got what you wanted. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Don't let me become one of those things. Is there gonna be choice to let him do it? Please, I don't want to turn. No. See, okay, everyone's gonna let Mercy kill him, but I won't let him turn. That's one thing I'm not gonna do. Is he gonna watch? He's gonna watch, not isn't he? That. I wanna. Let me keep my face. What? What? Oh, am I gonna slice his neck? I want you to see this. You don't have to watch. I don't. What the fuck? I don't know how to. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. He's gonna watch, isn't he? I don't fucking know what to say to that. I'm gonna slice his throat, aren't I? Oh no, I'm not. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Oh god. Oh no, wait. Temple, okay. <laughs> Shit! <gasps> oh no. At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Still dripping. Oh my god, it is still dripping. I don't know if it's meant to be doing that or not, but... <laughs> <gasps> Come on, we have a boat to find. I guarantee everyone's gonna kill him, but I'm not. <sighs> Just kill. What's he gonna do? <laughs> What's he gonna do? Skybound. Oh my god. <laughs> I miss Telltale so goddamn much. <laughs> Seeing that Telltale series little subtitle just. It was heartbreaking when they closed down. That was such a fucking awful thing to happen. Nobody expected it. I don't even think they expect. No, they didn't because they just got. They got told to just leave like really quickly after. I think like they had like 30 minutes to evacuate the building or something. I don't know. The whole thing was just absolutely devastating. <laughs> it was awful. 
Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, we will. <laughs> yeah, Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. Oh my god. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, there it is. I really don't know how long this episode is going to be. I, th I, was, I was thinking like an hour and a half, but I don't know. They're going to kill Louise, aren't they? So, <laughs> Or Violet. Or Clem. You don't do that. Him? Don't kill Clem. The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay. Let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Stealth? Stealth. Okay, where am I going? Do I speak to them or... Yes, I can. Okay. Have you ever seen this thing before? No way. Pretty sure I would have remembered an old-timey riverboat. And from where I'm sitting... Looks like that pier is the only way inside. Well, let's see what else is down there. Hmm. There are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Wait, I see Violet. Holy shit. This is really it. We found them. I'm surprised he didn't lie to us. Oh, he was really desperate. That was a lot of blood, Jesus. I don't know what we burst inside him, but... Ugh. I can see an entrance. It gives me chills. Yeah. There's one at the other end of the boat, too. Or gives me chills, There's I should say. There's an opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. Okay. AJ size. Okay, so that's going to be an option to get in. No, kind of like season one in the, the, the meat locker. <laughs> I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. Don't boats have brigs? Boat tails. Maybe, but where? Now that, I, I, I don't know. Shit. Okay. Um. Oh, this is the last one. Okay. I think it's the last one. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. Oh no, there is more. Okay. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. This is just reminding me so much of season two. One hell of a distraction. Walkers! Like scouting but before you meet Kenny. What the hell is that? Oh, it was a crossbow. It sounded like it was like elect electricity. Now we just need what a dozen walkers. How hard could that be? Well, maybe not as hard as you'd think. Yeah. <laughs> This is cool. Intel, okay. okay. Let's talk to this kid. Mitch. Mitch is his name, right? Or was Mitch the one that died? No, it's Willie. Oh my god, yeah, Mitch is the one that died. <laughs> I'm doing great. Anything useful? <laughs> Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. We are still scouting this thing. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy! Um, don't actually think there's really much else here at all. No, no, wait, no, 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 there is. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Mm-hmm. Also, oh, that guy kind of, like, looks a little bit like Alvin from season two <laughs> from the back. I don't know. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. the fuck is this? I'm gonna end up choosing, like, the wrong way of doing this entirely. Oh, AJ. There he is. Okay. <laughs> Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> let me, let me. More torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses, too. We could get on the boat easier that way. Hmm. Nothing else there. 
But there is more. Are we gonna be riding horses in this episode? Imagine that. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. How the fuck are those things even still alive this far into the apocalypse? Nine years or something. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. I don't get that, but... <laughs> Maybe they breeded new? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much into this. I don't know. <laughs> All right. What's the plan? Yeah, what is... Th <laughs> They've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. Burn them. I might steal those supplies. I could build traps. Weapons. No. Burn the supplies. We'll take the horses and the hay if we can. Ruby would help with that. She's like a horse whisperer. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot. You gotta kind of take chances now. <laughs> you remember that guy I told you about, James? Oh, uh, okay. <gasps> he sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. It's gonna be like the end of the fucking... Maybe we could convince him to do it again. Third episode of season two. If like... we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Leaving Carver's place. Cows? I think that's well, what it was called. Oh yeah. Let's find out how much he charges for his services. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see. Who's this red-headed thing? Fang. I don't know. <laughs> a raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Um, what? I don't... I don't see anything good happening in this. How, how, how tall am I? What's this gonna... Drop it! Never mind, then. How many of you are there? How many of who? I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. <laughs> eight. There's eight. Okay. Um, stop. Oh. What do you do? Hey, Minnie. What? New character. Uh, this is an old girlfriend. It's gonna be an old. No. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. Oh my god, she doesn't like us. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but... Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What are you talking about? Marlin traded you and Sophie like it was nothing. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Well, he did kill Brody, so... That is a great age. <laughs> yeah. shit. Clem saved us. Have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Minerva? Where's Sophie? Oh, wasn't. She died protecting the Delta. A hero. 
Isn't this the one that Violet liked? A hero? God, you Minerva! I think I don't know. Shit. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Rock your walk. up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. Nah. <laughs> I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I couldn't. Oh, Yeah, I think that's definitely the one that Violet liked. Or maybe it was Sophie. Oh, fucking no. <laughs> Are you okay? It doesn't change anything. We still have to get onto that boat. I'm glad his mind hasn't changed after that. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except ten. Oh. I warned you. Enough, both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Be safe. You too, but I doubt you're gonna last long. <laughs> I want to say that's the telltale way, but it's kind of the skybound way now, so I don't know how they operate. <laughs> I don't know. Him or Violet. I don't really know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, so we'll just have to see. <laughs> so, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? That's not something to be... I don't... I, don't I you Tom Holland on me. Wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Ooh. Here, let's rest a second. I forgot he got shot. I forgot a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, he did when we were escaping from Lily. I remember now. I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean. And Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. <laughs> I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I don't like this feeling. Wanting to hurt somebody. I know it's hard, AJ, but thoughts like that, they go away. You just have to give it time. Uh, waiting's hard. I'm just thinking too much. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then, Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. Because they soft motherfuckers. Them, <laughs> it just makes them not listen. Well, why don't we teach them? They're smart. Someone just has to show them what to do. Yeah. I want Tim to know how to be safe. We can show them how to be smart, like us. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. It's a the Carlos. Thing where people can't walk up behind you. Is he a doctor? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. Must have been Carlos. 
How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like, from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma? Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. Are we gonna get a Lee flashback? I, like <laughs> I have a feeling. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Thanks. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first <laughs> real friend. See? Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. Wow. I am not. <laughs> Fine. He's my second first real friend. Old. She's like 17, I think. 16 or 17. No, she'd be 17, wouldn't she? Because she was 8 in the first game and then 9. So she's probably nearly 18. Then they, They'll never clarify it, but, you know. Speculate all you want. Let's kill some zombies. <laughs> it's been a while. Hopefully I don't die. Let's, let's try not to do that, actually. <laughs> I don't see James. Just monsters. <clears throat> there <James>. he is. <laughs> You're hurt. Did he get bit? He didn't get bit. No, he didn't get bit. Don't worry. <laughs> it looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. Oh, if you yeah. distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. See, people like him shouldn't survive this long, so it's just... <laughs> Using only Circle to stun walkers will satisfy James' request. So you can kill them. Okay. Alright, let's just let's just try this. I don't know if this is going to work, but, you know. <laughs> oh my god, no. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Where is he? Oh my god. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. 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 Go, 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 go. Oh my fuck. Okay. No, I do not like this toll. <laughs> um. Did he get me? No. Jesus. Did you find your mask? Please tell me you found it. The horses must have. There. Oh, has one of them got it? Nope. We have to run. Hey, over here! Hey, Jay. No, there are too many of them. The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. Oh, yes, yeah, smart. More noise. Okay, quick time events as well. <laughs> I'm not breaking his code at the very end. <laughs> and my head just went through that rock. Are you okay? Yeah, no bites. I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really? Yeah, and you're a bit fucked up. Just a little bit. Aww. 
Old Thank family you photo. For helping me get this back. Okay, Leatherface, it's cool. <laughs> now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. Wow, <laughs> wow. I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. Yeah, he must have been shot. That's only like a, a hole. Looks still like need his help, right? I don't know. Yeah, we do. safe you sure <laughs> just a little further what's that because all I'm getting is just for some reason flashbacks from Friday the 13th part 2 with Jason's shack I don't know why it's literally nothing like it a church Okay, then. Oh my god, it's a salt lick. What's this? It's called a salt lick. Oh, yeah. Don't lick it. Salt lick? Please don't lick it. it. Sounds gross. Or maybe it's actually good, like chips. Those are salty, right? Like the snack bag in the car. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't lick it. It tastes horrible. Wait a minute, how do you know? Did you lick it? Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That was perfect. That's l literally what she <laughs> said in season one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was absolutely priceless. Oh, that was, that was fucking awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> my people, my former uh. people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. Oh no, he's got them fucking tied up in here, hasn't he? <laughs> Not tied up. You've been learning from Herschel, haven't you? <laughs> They use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. Uh... As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. I don't know what to say to that. I don't want to piss him off, but... Anything I will, will, will piss him off, so... Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Oh, don't do this. Clem's friend, Lee. Oh, okay, do it. She then. shot him before he did, so he wouldn't have to suffer. We're getting a Lee flashback. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless, innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. He is giving me and my own mask. You really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. 
Clem! She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. Save me she if it gets bad. Move as they do. That's not very oh, that's some what what? Save me if it gets bad. Fine, just do it then. If gets bad, I think that that's a I, okay, I think that was like a, a problem that they might have overlooked. Oh well. But, yeah. <laughs> the first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Check the windows. I will. And say fuck off to fear. <laughs> I will. I promise. Did I teach him that too? That kind of weird. That's awesome. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. Yeah, say fuck Touch off to the fear. Wind chime. <laughs> You'll see. Oh no! So we're going first person mode. I don't like this. Oh no, I don't even have blood on me or anything. This, no, this is just scary, and this is gonna give her flashbacks of her parents. <sighs> but I'm not even covered in blood or anything. How can you not? Shouldn't they be able to smell me? I'm, j I, I'm just going in a straight line. Chime? Chime it? Do it? Click it? What is this going to do? Oh no. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> oh my god. I don't see what they're trying to do. <laughs> I kind of do, but still. Well then. Hey, hey there, kiddo. It's all right. I'm fine. See? Just smell a little. No bites. <laughs> no bites. So, do you still think they're just monsters? I don't know. They just looked up. You've seen them at peace. Any different at all? I, I think you might be right about there being something more to them. It was. Kind of nice in there. Well, that's not how I'd put really? it, but. I never met someone who understood. It's. Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Oh, okay. Have you ever killed a person? Hmm. Many. Oh. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. <sighs> oh, the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my uh, hands. Uh, I don't know what to say. Hey. So let me get this straight. If you really had to choose human life or walker life, which is more important? Walkers are peaceful. H humans... 
My friends are alive, not kind of or maybe alive. They're trapped and they're afraid. They need my help. Oh. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Gross. <laughs> the noise. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. You just gonna just chill with your friends then? Yeah, he's gonna go back in there. Sad walkers. Did you mean it? I don't know. Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. That sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. That was weird. Really, really, really weird. <laughs> I don't know what to think of that. I really don't know what to think of that. But... Inside... I mean, it was just a noise. So I don't know. I've never met anyone like James before. I don't think anyone has. <laughs> I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Nah. Yeah, he's getting there. <laughs> Ruby. Hey, Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were going to sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers... I called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot in Annie before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be her last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. Cute. <laughs> really cute. I'm gonna make the deck... Uh, the deck or... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. We're actually going to be planning a party. I think Ruby's going to die now. <laughs> it's always the nice ones. These are the collectibles. But... How do you play with it? You draw pictures like this. Does it still work? Yes, it still does. <laughs> no. Can you use it again? Draw from memory. What? That kind of looks like Miles from Spider-Verse, but okay. <laughs> uh. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Let's have a lark. Hey, 
You're getting better at this. So you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His his eyes look like you blew a candle out. Jesus. He's a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him too. I think there's something wrong with me. You're way too little to see so much death, AJ. So much violence. No, I'm big enough. I know I'm big because I think of this stuff now. I care about what I do more. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Because I'm always thinking all the time. Yeah, okay. same, but that doesn't make me smart. <laughs> right now. You getting bit. Turning into a monster. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. Yeah, they ain't gonna do that. What happens then? <laughs> well, they better not do that. Anyone can get bit. No I have matter to eat you. Inside or outside or how careful you are. AJ, we've talked about this a lot. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. Oh, don't fucking say that. I don't want to talk about this anymore. But you brought it up, so we're going to. It does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm going to get the dookies. <laughs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. I don't like how they're talking about this because this is Listen scaring me. me. You're not killing Clem. I don't if give a shit. I get bit, you no. Know? No. No, you. You're not killing Clem, okay? Because I'll be the biggest emotional wreck you'll have ever seen me at. Shoot! No, no, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. Uh, oh, fuck! Oh what? You don't mean that? I don't wanna be alone. <sighs> Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it. Oh, but so Jesus. Much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. That's so we just fucked. be a different together. That's so upsetting. We might even be okay. AJ, I'm done. We're not doing this anymore. You're gonna drop it or you're in big trouble. I mean it. Why can't you just be nice to me, stupid Ed? AJ. Oh. <laughs> I d I What's up with AJ? The little guy ran out of here like he was on fire. <sighs> he just needs some space. More than that. Oh, God. I was wondering, well, I can't help but thinking. You shot that raider who grabbed me, but you saw them take Violet too, which means you could have saved Violet and not me. All right, Doug. <laughs> Why? Why would you pick me? I just... I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. Hell, I don't know anyone who would have picked me. You're too important to me. I don't... I, I, uh... I couldn't let them take you. Your 
you're too important to me. I'm just rolling with it now. Even though you're a dick for a while. <laughs> I know I'm always teasing her, trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does. You know the one. Where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full body eye roll. I do it because when I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. Hey, we're going to get them back, Louis. Yeah, damn right we will. Please don't die. Actually, um, that's... <laughs> Not the uh, only reason I dropped by. Yeah, okay. Ruby's whole party idea kind of made me realize something. What is this, 16 candles? What are you doing? Yeah, what are you well, doing? <laughs> I figured since we might die tomorrow and never get to go on a real date. Aww. <laughs> I thought we could. Damn it. Alright, I'm kind of into this now. This is cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have one now. I promise I'll keep it short so we can finish getting things ready for tomorrow. <laughs> but I mean, nothing's wrong with short and sweet, right? Let's do it. I never thought I'd get to go on a date, ever. Really? Never? Have you met you? Uh, wow. In the world or not, someone would have at least tried to sweep you off your feet. Oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> all right, it's gonna be... all right. He's... I'm gonna be so upset when he goes... It's true. What do you know about dating, anyway? I doubt they have a Tinder in the apocalypse. I'll have you know, I found some <laughs> magazines in the headmaster's office that had some very interesting things to say about the dating world. Oh, uh, yeah? Like what? Oh, God. Well, like, it said you can tell a lot about someone based on what they look for in a partner. You know, brains, brawn, dashing good looks, great <laughs> sense of humor, that sort of thing. <laughs> Sure, I guess. What, uh, what would you say your thing is? I don't even think she knows. What you look for in a guy? If you had to pick. I'm just gonna bar him up. <laughs> oh, dashing good looks, no question. Well, luckily I've got plenty of those. <laughs> is that why you told me you liked me? You using me for my looks? I guess we'll never know. I think that deserves a toast. A toast? Don't those usually come at the end? Hey, that's a pretzel. I warned you I'd make this quick. So, what do you say? To our last night alive. <sighs> How about to bringing everyone home? Yeah. No sound effect. I think I prefer that one too. No sound effects. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, I'll see you over there? That was sweet. Hey, Clem! <laughs> oh, Thanks. <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works! <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. Wow. <laughs> hmm. I thought you were mad at me. Well, I am, but I still wanted to show you. It's cool, right? Cute. Super cool. <laughs> back. Super Nars. <laughs> Think fast. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Hug, come on. I'm gonna fucking... I love you, Clem. Oh, I'm gonna be like such a little bitch I'm, when this game I'm ends. sorry for calling you a dumb head. Stupid head, I'm actually. Stupid head. Yeah. You <laughs> called me a stupid head. Oh. <laughs> right. I love you back, kiddo. Aww. <sighs> okay. We better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. 
Oh, I'm gonna tear- I'm gonna cry like a fucking little girl. Oh, no. That was really nice. Looks like I like things that. are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Well, uh, music. You gonna play the piano all night? God no. I want to actually attend this thing. Then how? Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. <laughs> Any kind you want. But how? Well, that... I don't really know, but showing's better than telling. Come on, get a closer look. <laughs> you got any logic on here? Some Kendrick, maybe a bit of Travis, bit of Post. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone <laughs> so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it yeah. should do. Uh, Just tell me what you want to listen to. Yeah, classical. Actually, no jazz. No. Ooh, you guys have any classical? You bet. Ha! Ah, a woman after my own heart. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna go with pink because I like pink. I don't care. <laughs> Wouldn't I be mean... a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. I guess it's not pink Green's then. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. That looks pink like gets the natural moonlight. So something to complement that, maybe. It looks like the pink hmm. I use on my well, banner. Purple was my dad's favorite color. And purple I read somewhere picture. Purple was a color of royalty. <laughs> That describes us exactly not at all. I'll make it happen. <laughs> Alright, cheese place ball. This is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. Uh... We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're going to be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. Yeah, I don't okay, trust you. <laughs> And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. My fucking Ben Ten had it. his name's not Ben, but... <laughs> We're gonna dance with L Lewis, aren't we? We're gonna have a fucking slow dance with Lewis. <laughs> Fuck, does that what? I don't know what that's meant to be, but. Wow, this looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. Oh, she's definitely gonna die, and that's. I guess I'll mingle. You don't kill the dog, though. <laughs> I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. 
it'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. <laughs> I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. Wow. Ruby's Revenge, Mitch's Masterpiece. Yeah, I like that. How about Mitch's Masterpiece? Yeah. I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. What is it? I still don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I found them. Files. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Mitch? Or Mar... Marlin. Marlin? Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. Yeah, I... Guess it does, but no. Wasn't him. It was you? That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? What? Guilty as charged. <laughs> Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> Said I was sorry. Oh. You guys didn't know why I got to here. <gasps> nice one, Mil Good. Melissa. Ironic no. masturbation. What? I Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What? Did he? Was that about him? No. What does that mean? Oh my God. <laughs> uh, don't you dare. <laughs> uh, what? Maybe we should change up the music? Oh, I've all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? Jazz. I don't know. A lot. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Who is Break he talking about jazz. with the chronic masturbation thing? Is he talking about himself because he's like 11? And that's kind of fucked up. That's really fucked up. I hope he's not. <laughs> I've said fucked up a lot in this video, haven't I? <laughs> Aw. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Jeez. <laughs> Whose is it? Violet's. She ain't dead. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. What do you mean it's not great? Who you were before doesn't matter. Only if you want to share it with me. I was hoping you'd tell me. So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted when I wanted it. Except oh. for one thing. Singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. 
But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? Hmm. So I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. <whistles> this is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. What? How'd you do that? I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. <gasps> wow, you should have been an actor. <laughs> you know? Those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. Ouch. I came here the week after. Worst to part <laughs> fucking comic book guy from The Simpsons. I can see by your face you regret it. Nice they teeth. They said we were bad people, Glenn. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. The whole parent story is really... Ugh. Rich, rich, rich. Rich, 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 rich. God damn. <laughs> This is for you, Minnie. So, can he actually sing, or is this going to be like a thing where we make fun of him for it? <laughs> Wouldn't seem right if we... I don't know. Aww. Or maybe he won't. Glad they're being friends again, though. Ugh, everyone's depressed. <laughs>
Nars. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you motherfuckers. Oh. Hey, oh. <laughs> she looks. They look different. Lee looks different. Really different. Oh my. Why the train? You always pick the train. Dave. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair, to be ready for what was coming. You were a quick study. I knew they were going to do this. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. It's weird hearing your voice that like high now, like high well, pitched now. That feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? <laughs> Couldn't let on, of course. You being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. Oh. <laughs> Clementine, I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. Oh my God. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them, alive. That's right. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. McCarroll, wait. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. <laughs> They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Wasn't it St. John's? I know he's giving a speech, I'm just kind of like... Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? <laughs> out. And safe. Mother f Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. I don't care if everyone's gonna if say the same thing. thing. Everyone's gonna press the same thing, but... Lee? <laughs> I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. That is absolutely fucking heartbreaking. Why? <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I was scared she was gonna like look away, look up, and he wasn't gonna be there. What was he doing? I meant to ask. How's the boy? Oh. He's good, Lee. You'd like him. Yeah. I uh, bet. You teach him to shoot yet? Tom a lot of things. <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. 
kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Ah, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. You doing okay? AJ's amazingly. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. It's weird hearing her you say that. More than I already am. Oh, no. Because <laughs> AJ's like her age now in, in this flashback. <laughs> I'm going to fucking cry. I'm going to fucking cry. <laughs> oh, I got a little tear in my eye. <laughs> wow. Just look at you. Oh. <laughs> Just gonna, look at you. Oh, I'm gonna cry. It's, well, I told you to keep this short. It's seven in the morning, oh, and I'm fucking crying. How hard it is to find scissors these days. <laughs> oh no. Time to go, Clementine. I want more. You've got people that need you. Don't you dare go in their shadows. Now he's gonna go. Goodbye, Lee. <sighs> Fuckers, why? <laughs> Seven in the morning. Clem, wake up. <sighs> it's time to go. We got a long walk. They pulled that shit in season two and they're doing it in this one now. <laughs> Made me cry like a bitch then, it's making me cry like a bitch now. <laughs> it doesn't help that I've got like a fucking Lee, Lee Everett like uh, Skybound toy right next to my monitor. <laughs> uh, I need to get the Clementine one, but I've only got Lee for now. I knew they were going to do it. I knew they were going to do a flashback. I didn't expect to be that good, though. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. James would not like that. doing this only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves now we just need your walker friend to... he's here good lord uh, <laughs> hello yo what's up <laughs> guys this is james he's my friend he's uh so cool how do you get the skin like that uh, oh I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to, not right now. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. Yeah, you were. It's okay. But oh. that's coming, you know. Sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd flip? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ten, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. Oh, what are they talking about? The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. 
That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. You know, they could be your friends too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But it does sound nice. Let me think about it. Oh, gross. <laughs> I'm not going to get over that sound. I you wanted to show you something. You must smell of something fierce. Oh, that's why he pulled this out his is, bag. was my boyfriend, Charlie. Oh. We joined the Whispers together. Oh. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whispers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. What? I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. That's... that's kind of hard to believe. Doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore. But it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. Yeah. I need to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. Here we go. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. <laughs> okay. To go. That was heavy. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ted. Take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Oh, don't die, Lewis, please. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. <sighs> See you all on the other side. Uh, okay, I think she's gonna I'll go. They might kill him. Or Louise. I don't think they're going to kill Willie. They might actually. I don't know. Please don't have Clem die, though. Please, Jesus Christ. Or AJ, please don't kill Louis Clem. Louise told me about Minnie. Please don't kill Clem. <laughs> that Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just, if you see her out there, tell her. Tell her I forgive her. Please. I tell her myself, but... I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks.
It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Other people's lives are depending on us. Depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? Duh. What if... What if I can't? I don't know. I can't carry that the rest of my life. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Did Seriously, I ask him to come? Lewis, I mean it. Just believe me until you believe yourself. I don't know okay? why I did. All right. Though I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. Okay, I'll try. But what if I just get us caught too? All it would take is one little screw up, and I screw up all the time. Uh, all right. Come on, Lewis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. <laughs> Alright, rich boy. Right here. <laughs> I knew they were going to give us the option. Oh, that's passionate. Okay. I, I can't tell if I feel more focused or less. You feeling something? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, wow. You'll learn when you're older. Go look in another direction. It's ready. I knew they were going to give you the option to do that. Oh, we're not doing what I think we are. That depends. What do you think we're doing? Oh, God, we are. It'll help us blend in with the walkers. Mm. Nope. Season two vibes. Oh, that's a lot of guts. There. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Uh, Get no, you're back. not. Back. Back. No, no, he's, he's covering the back. It's not like Sarah. Oh, wait. Face. Oh, yeah. There. You know, walker blood is one of the hardest stains to get out. You owe me some new clothes. <laughs> we gonna do it? Maybe you should have one, more than one set. <laughs> We're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. We're gonna finish this. Where'd you get that bow? Was that okay. Marlins? Follow my lead. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Uh, okay, I guess I just kind of like... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, run. Run, 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 just giving him a nice bear hug. <laughs> that is smart, though. Oh. Alright, last one should do it. I think we made it. Do we make it? Don't think we made it. I think we're gonna die. And I got shot. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Go, 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 go! Oh my god, okay. That was a cool idea though, I like that. Oh yeah, Lily, I forgot. <laughs> eh, we're not gonna kill Lily yet. Oof. Okay, now's our chance. Hey, at least I'll clean. Leaving cover, but we'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Oh, this is gonna be fucking badass. We won't kill Lily. She'll probably kill one of us. Don't please don't kill Lily. Because if they don't kill Clem, but if they give Clem a bite on this, it'll just be too obvious from like season one with Lee. So I just don't see that happening. Off.
Okay. How does she not see? Follow me. This way. Holy shit. <laughs> you better hurry up. Yeah, okay, that's kind of why. <laughs> I swear to you, you better not bite her. Don't do it. This is Luke. Get away from me. I ain't no Scott Porter. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. Yeah, she better be. Stay close. All right, now this is just like fucking Batman. Batman Arkham, Arkham Asylum. Uh, yeah, Arkham Asylum. That's the one with Scarecrow. <laughs> go, 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 go. Come on, let's hurry. Make it in. Ready, AJ? Walkers incoming! Oh shit, okay. Okay. Oh, never mind. Wow. <laughs> out. Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it. Yeah. Find the boiler. Okay. I see a pitchfork, and all I think about is the St. John's Dairy. <laughs> Alright, we're not going that way. Um, I guess we're going this way, clearly. Just don't make me scream. It's, it's too early in the morning to be screaming <laughs> and getting emotional. I've already cried, so... There. Oh, it's this guy. Uh, Lewis, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Shit! Oh, f fuck it. Go! Go! <laughs> Check this out. Oh my I think it's the god. Oh, really? that's... Yeah, it looks like it. Is that gonna bite me in the ass or... We need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. And maybe there's another way in. Is that gonna bite me in the ass? Cause he's see he saw me do that. Yeah, he saw me kill him, so that's not gonna be good, is it? Oh. <sighs> Like, there was stun, but what was that actually going to do? What was stunning them going to do? Wait here. Oh, we're doing this again? Um... Oh, fuck it. We've already taken one. Go! <laughs> They're bad guys. They're not good. They're not good. They're not good. They're not good. Okay, they're they're killing us as well. So who cares? That's gonna. No, oh, this is gonna bite me in the ass, isn't it? Mitch's masterpiece. Oh. There he 
you go, Mitch's masterpiece. <clears throat> we all love and support you. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. I guess we'd better move. Find your fr Oh, God, I am so nervous. <laughs> Because we were... Well, the first guy didn't kind of look a little bit like a kid. Soldiers. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother. Short, scarred face. See? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. Maybe she's gonna have to see us. Oh. Get out. Oh. I swear to God, if you got ten caught up in this, just just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. You get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. See, I can see them killing her, but we have to hurry. I don't know. I've, I haven't. We don't really know her, so. Clementine. Holy fuck! Oh my god. Are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I. Uh, yeah, I'm all right. We're all right. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Great. Louis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Uh. Violet. Violet. She's gonna hate me, isn't she? Uh, uh, <laughs> Lily. Minnie? Clem, get in the cell. Oh. Now. For fuck's sake. Don't have me. Great. Where's Violet? She's gonna hate me, isn't she? Yep. Look at that. Vi. What happened? Are you okay? See. Violet. Talk to me. She's not gonna want to speak to us. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. What did not? I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. Lewis wouldn't have stood a chance against these guys. I knew you could fight back. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, you did. What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> no, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop you myself. Wow. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again or anyone else. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process? Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Imagine what Lewis would have been like here. I don't know if it would have been as cold or if he would have been... I don't know. Jeez, I knew she was going to be pissed. I gotta escape. Clem. Are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. 
Lewis, are you all right? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. Hmm. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. Uh... Don't think they can reach that. Or that. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn, yep. yeah. you must have taken away my knife. Don't think they're gonna be too AJ, happy we, we kill two of their people. Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Wow, that was accurate. Okay. <laughs> accurate. That was, like, too good. I don't know. Keep looking at me like that and I'll use it on you. <laughs> Last of Us style. Uh, where do we do it? Is it up here? Where, the f where is it? Dude, wh where am I looking? It's not... Wait, what? I'm like going as far down as possible. Oh, wait, I'm meant to speak to them. How are you holding up? Wait, wait. She scares the shit out of me, Clem. What's her name? Earlier, she came down to talk. A sim? Fuck. I don't think I've ever been that afraid. And that's Omar. She's he... not messing around. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. All I remember from him is he was the guy that cooked. Omar, are you hurt? Let's just get out of here, okay? We will. Didn't know what he sounded like either. Okay, can I actually, like, break this thing now? Like, I don't see... I actually don't see anything, like, where it's letting... If it'll let me. Oh, wait. No, there we go. Okay, I was looking through it before... <laughs> Uh, I thought I had to like inter. I don't know. Okay, it's like a way out. <laughs> Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Oh Good. no. I'll take it from here. You killed two of my men. Shut the fuck up. I know she's gonna bring them up, isn't she? Shit. Asshole. <laughs> Where's Abel? He's oh. dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Well, you Fuck, you little monster. We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Uh. Uh. I think I pressed that right. It's not, it didn't give me the red, so. Minerva. Open Mini. the door. Oh, yes, ma'am. Great. Come on, you've still got time. You've still got time to change. Come on, Mini. That fucking Daryl Dixon crossbow. Normally, you got... the trouble you caused <sighs> would shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. I hate you. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. He was a dick as well. <laughs> and when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. 
The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. Because no he was a dick. TV, <laughs> no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. I always hated your dad. Right from the start, when he tried to throw Duck out of that drugstore we were hiding in. Doc. He never gave a damn about what people thought of him. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, yeah, no. is I, that <laughs> what this is? A lesson? Ugh. We couldn't control his health, could he? Or the salt break. That was Kenny's fault. And mine, because I kind of went along with it. But, oh well. Water under the bridge. I want to tell you a story. Let's call it The Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. I don't you see where see, this is going. This place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. Kidnapping people and forcing them to fight? Sounds like slavery to me. Call it whatever you want. They were helping each other survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a rat and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. Come on, Minnie. What happened then, Minerva? Come on, please. I killed her. Ah, uh, never mind. Shit, Minnie, you... what the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. Ah. Uh. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one, or the dead one? You, you brainwashed her! You people are fucking sick! No, oh. back away from the door. It's gonna leave in a cliffhanger, isn't it? Uh, there was nothing- kind of the reaction I expected. There was nothing good to say, though. But you'll see. I'm not kidding around. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. Oh <gasps> no! They're gonna kill Louise! No! They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. I told them they were gonna fucking kill him. Stop! Don't hurt Louis, or I'll hurt you. Oof. Hey yo, you better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, hey fuck, yo. Fuck, fuck. Uh, Easy. Stay still. No, 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 no. Gonna cut his fingers Go. off. Shiv, what about the Shiv? Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Oh shit. Holy <laughs> 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 fucking shit. Son of a bitch. Oh. enough. He bit me. I said that's enough. Lose an ear or lose some fingers. You deserve to die. We'll kill you. 
AJ, come on, please. You. <laughs> you think you can kill me? I know I can. Oh, AJ. I put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. Imagine if AJ killed kill Lily. Him. He wasn't a monster, but you are. Bang. Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. Oh. Yeah, we couldn't avoid that. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Lily, please, don't hurt AJ. I'll do whatever you want. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Oh no. Come. Let's go have a chat. Just us. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking kill her. Don't touch him. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill her. <laughs> no, please. Clem and time. AJ. Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't. Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Are you uh. serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Isma, don't please. Ugh. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck off. Oh, don't kill Luis, please. You. Fucking Jesus, don't kill him. Please, 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 please. You just decided, hey, I'll work for these people. Don't seem to be enough. Fuck you, don't hide like you don't understand get us all what killed. happened. Uh, what? Fuck you! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Stop! Okay. Okay, go, go. Clem, behind you. Oh, they're both turning on me now, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> God, I hate you just as much as Lily. <laughs> kind of. Oh, Do it, Louise. Please. God. Oh, it was it was Go straight through the mouth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. It's the final game. At least have us a ha let's have a happy ending. Violet, we have to go. Oh, she's going to stay. Bomb on the boat. Fuck you. There's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just, just fucking go. We have to get the hell out of here now. Go. Oh, she need to find AJ. Dabbed me. I, I can. Uh, I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will. You probably won't. Ah. Oh. It's really cold in my room, but I'm just really nervous as well. Oh, okay. Shit, they started the boiler. Fuck, how is this gonna work? We'll focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. Ugh. I don't know when to move. You'll come around too once you see what we have to offer. Is that that little glance? Food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. Oh, okay, you guess we are. <laughs> found one more sneaking over the docks. Fuck off. Ten. They found ten. Ten. Fuck. That's what I'm thinking. Tennessee. <laughs> did you get lost, ma'am? He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Gah. Found this in the herd. Oh no. No wonder there were so many walkers. <laughs> hmm. 
Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say. You don't what do I do? Scare me. What do I do? <laughs> Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. My heart is racing. Kill it. No! <gasps> no! What the fuck? Oh. Are oh, they gonna Easy kill a kid? Attend. Don't hurt him. Well, another kid. <laughs> Just stop hurting people. Please. Shoot her! Oh, Why no. don't we all just take a breath? All right. Give me my friends back. Oh my God! Anyone's Down. gonna, someone's gonna die. Let them go. Are all they gonna, us. they're gonna kill ten. Or, or else. <laughs> oh no. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? Oh, my heart is racing. <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. <laughs> oh. Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't. No. <gasps> Holy fuck! God damn, AJ, you biter. I wonder, wonder what he'd be like if he was a zombie. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Keep that hair short. <laughs> Okay, 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 we're doing this, we're doing this. Okay, I, I pressed that. Oh, AJ, no, 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 Told you he was gonna be the one to kill her. Put down the gun. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. I told you he was gonna be the one to kill her. AJ, she's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She tried to cut us all up. <laughs> you don't have to do this, please. It's a trick. Holy. Don't you fucking dare, AJ. Just give me the gun. You can't. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to die. Oh, fuck. Clem. my fault. Shit, the bomb! AJ! Ah, okay. oh, I could've fucked- I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I could've saved James, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I could've saved James, I could've saved James, or he could've fucking died, and I could've saved James, oh my fucking god, I could've fucking saved him. And they're ending it there. <laughs> 70% mercy killed. Oh, I'm getting fucking chills from that. 100%. To be fair, I am playing this literally as the episode released, like at 5 in the morning, so I'm gonna, I won't be surprised if all of them say 100%.
you and 100 percent players respect to James' beliefs. We didn't kill any of them. It's weird. There's actually uh, these stats must be completely ra <laughs> just randomized by the team. Uh, more people called it Mitch. More people. 80% let them buy uh, Doreen. Dor Dor I, f I don't fucking know. I didn't tell him not to. But I just kind of stood there. Oh my god. Missing in action. Oh shit, yeah. It was delighted when you decided to go on a date with him. Lewis was touched that you wanted to hear why he was sent to Ericsson. Lewis was calmed when you were sympathetic to a story about how he was sent to Ericsson. Lewis was thankful when you let AJ stop Durian from whatever the fucking name is from cutting off her f his finger. AJ felt conflicted after you killed Abel, Abel, sparing him for turning. AJ was insulted when you refused to hear him out about being a walk walkers together, and AJ felt helpless when he spared Lily, only to have her kill James. <laughs> He was, oh, uh, Minerva's a bitch, Jesus. Was stunned when you told her Marlon killed Brody. Yeah, I despise her as well. Oh no. But he should have had that coming though. They're all missing in action, Jesus. Lily. Defiant when you didn't tell AJ. Defi fuck you. Uh, well, Rosie's alive. I found one collectible on it. It's the edge sketch that made it look like miles from Spider Verse. Wow. And that's where they're gonna leave it, isn't it? Skybound, you fucking beautiful bastards. Oh my god. I am so grateful that that was real. I cannot believe it was that good. I don't even want to show where Telltale's work on the first two. I mean, they've still got the original team back. But that might have been the best one, and it could have been a complete mess. They could have messed this up. Not mess it up, but like... I didn't expect it to be that long. I thought it was going to be like an hour and a half. The other two were like nearly, like nearly three hours or like two and a half hours. And this one was just about the same length. And it ran perfectly. I mean, there were a couple little hiccups like there have been in the episodes. And there was like that spelling error on one of the, uh, when I was talking to James earlier. Um... And some of the sound effects were missing. But I can overlook it. Um, that was way better than it should have been. I'm actually fucking... I'm over the moon and I'm just surprised. I, I cannot believe how good that was. Um, that last decision though, I just didn't know what to say. Uh, could have saved James. He was warming up as well. He like opened up to us and everything and I'm really pissed about that. I don't know if he would have actually killed Lily though. It's Skybound's game now though, so it's up to them, but I'm just in pure shock. Um I should be tired. I haven't slept in over twenty four hours. <laughs> uh but I've got more of an adrenal adrenaline rush playing playing that now. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't even know what else to say. Okay, it was just the stats. Um, just thank you to everybody involved at Skybound for picking this up and actually finishing it. All of the legal boundaries that you'll have had to have overcome, all of the, uh, pressure from the fans um everything i don't know a damn thing about game development um but i imagine especially with a franchise this beloved the pressure must have been insurmountable but you you've pulled it off and i cannot wait for the final episode um that leaf flashback had me crying as well 
So you did your job. You did your job well. Um, I'm absolutely lost for words. I, I'm so happy I could probably cry again. <laughs> well, I'm not going to. Um, I'm just over the moon. I cannot believe how good that was. It shouldn't have been that good, but it was. Um, yeah. So I guess we're going to leave this episode here. If you've watched the entire thing, thank you so much. Uh, for being on this journey with me, these games mean the ever just they mean the world to me so much. That's why I was like so heartbroken and in tears at the end of episode two, knowing that it could have been done there. But uh, let's see how Clem's story ends with a bang. Just don't kill her. Just don't kill her. Please don't kill her. <laughs> okay. Well. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in episode 4, March 26th. See you then.